this amazing or what? Look at that. Hey. Is it my beard? Huh? You're supposed to like my beard. Check this out. Me and Juliet are going to give this girl, we're going to give her some choices of some crazy food, right? Yeah. Now, octopus are extremely smart. Not only are they smart, they can grab a clam and just tear it open. Muscle. We actually have a muscle is one of the choices. She even has yeah. toys. That's how smart they are. They literally play with things. So we're at San Antonio Crank. And Jamie over here is hiding over there in the background. It's gonna show us, teach us a little bit about this guy. Help me out. Sick. That's crazy. That is such an amazing animal. Now, the crazy part is you would think this giant thing would live to be like 100 years old. Can you believe their whole lifespan is usually under three years? Yeah, so on average, Years. Wow, and so basically they can get three years because of the way they grow. The bigger they grow, the shorter their life is. She, you have to weigh all their food. Yeah, so they eat about one to four percent of their body weight every day. Wow. Okay. She's like, she's going to She's like a hoarder. I'm so sure she, she can do it all. Yeah. Pile of all and she'll get a whole bunch of it and then she'll just take her time throughout the day eating like she wants. She's a hoarder. Wow, I never met anybody that's a hoarder. My grandma used to take and we'd go out to eat and she would just fold everything up in paper towels and stick it in the pocket and leave it the smartest part. <laughs> Did she take it? Yeah, she took it. She's oh, man, now we gotta go find some food for the little fishes. They're all looking hungry. What, what is the exact name of this fish? So that's gonna be a rockfish, sea bass. Um, they're gonna be a cold water fish. Okay. So Wait, have a fish like that in California. It's called a chucklehead. But this one's a little bit different. I like, I like, I really like this a lot. So there's just so many things not to have them explored. And I've caught things that some people never even knew exist. Okay, well, there's a lot of cool stuff here at the aquarium. We're gonna see a lot of fun stuff today. This isn't just any aquarium. We have lemurs, porcupines, sloths, possum, anteater, alpacas, goats, sharks, stingrays, birds, lorikeets, parakeets, reptiles. And it's Jamie to keep track of it all. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it should be called, but it's anyway, you gotta check it out. So we're gonna go look at all kinds of cool animals today. You guys better be ready for some fun. Check this out. I get help. Little baby sharks get out of their eggs. Look at these ones right here. They're really cute little guys. They're called bamboo sharks. Check that out. There's a baby shark right there. So I'm gonna help him get out. And look at this one here. It's a little baby shark and then, then there's the yolk. So that one's not ready. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually cut the end off and try to help it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this little end off right here and I'm gonna just take it like that. This is my first time doing this. So I gotta be real gentle. Never been out before. And he's gonna come out of here and he's gonna start swimming. Look, 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 look. He can join his buddies. Check that out. Is this amazing or what? Look at that. Baby shark just came out of the egg. There's another one. I don't know if he's quite ready. I need help. You wanna come here? Come here, come here, come here. She's the pro, by the way. Hi. I don't think that one's quite ready, is it? So what we're gonna be looking for is any sort of yolk. Now it's kind of hard because he is it's coiled up, coiled but I up. think I think I saw a little yolk. Is that crazy? That little baby swimming around in there. So we're gonna turn the light off so she can figure it out. Is that cool, you guys? He is really coiled up in there. Yep, see there's a little tiny, yeah, there is. a little Nobody tiny bit of yolk. Yolks. Look at this one, you guys, with the lights off. Is that the coolest thing? You see the little shark right there? Can you hear that? Yep, those are, those are going crazy. You know what they are, right? They're lemurs. Oh, they want to come hang out with us and see this egg hatch. So you can see the little baby shark right there. You can see the umbilical cord going right to the to the actual yolk. So this little guy here is not ready to go. He's a squiggler. And this one here, we can't really tell, but I think it's it's either the very beginning or almost uh, almost started. Look at the babies, how beautiful they are. And this is even crazier. They're het albinos, yeah. right? Yeah. So what will they do is they'll be back and if they, these two breed together, 25% of them will be albinos 
If it breeds back to the father, it'll be 50-50. You've got multiple moms, so they actually are gonna use unrelated moms to, so their babies won't be breeding to their brothers and sisters. Only just a minute old. I got my own shark egg. Did you know that 40% of sharks lay eggs? and all the rest are live birth. The funny part, the amazing part about it is on snakes, a lot of people ask me, and you're always cutting eggs, what are those live babies? 30% of snakes have live babies and 70% lay eggs. So there's some similarities and it's pretty darn awesome and I'm having a great time here. This is so cool. So, it's real easy to be popular with the lemurs. All you gotta do is bring some of their favorite goodies. These are red rump lemurs, right? Yeah, these guys are herbivores too. Dogs. Everything that's fruit. Everybody always asks me if you have a degree. I don't have a degree. I literally just doing the best of what I got, learning what I as I go with you guys. So I luckily know enough to ask her some cool questions. So the reason why is because lemurs are ran by what? A monarchy, so a girl. Ah, uh -huh. so the head honcho is a female, and if I'm in here, she could get really ticked off because she might think I'm trying to take her job. I guess, do you associate as a girl? <laughs> Apparently, to a, red, <laughs> a, to a red rough lemur, I might, right? Is that correct? If I even was a strong male, what would happen? They would still pick on you. Ah, I'd still get beat up. So I don't have, so at the end of the day, it's funny how that is, yeah. because that whole, that whole King Julian thing's a joke, right? Oh, yeah, for sure, it's total lie. How many types of lemurs are there? So there's around 150 to 200 different species of lemur. There yeah. used to be a lot more though. Yeah, a lot of them extinct. Yeah. And how big was the biggest one? It was almost like a dinosaur, like as tall as a tree. <laughs> Is that crazy? If you look close at their teeth, that'd be scary. Because yeah. <laughs> they got like big old teeth. Look at that. Oh yeah, you want a piece of fruit? There you go. Now, do, will they eat insects? Um, Occasionally, especially in the wild, they could be opportunists. But in captivity, they got it too good, so they're not going to do that. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Largest lemur is going to be a rough lemur. A rough lemur. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the largest species. Yes, this is one of the largest species. So Are... these guys are subspecies. So black and white, they tend to be around the same, but generally um, one or other will be bigger. They are the second loudest primate. Second loudest primate. But these, this is actually my, one of my favorites. I don't know why I like the red rough lemur so much. Uh, the black and whites are obviously beautiful. And what was your favorite? The brown lemur. The brown lemur. So why the brown lemur? Their like, hierarchy system is a little bit different. They don't have a set hierarchy system, kind of like the hippie lemur, where it's all about <laughs> peace and love. Oh, peace and love. That's what we need to learn in America, right? We need to learn that all over the world. Peace and love. I want to show you all these crazy cool lemurs, black and whites. These are the these are the brown roughs. The black and whites are roughs too, right? So black and white rough, red rough, and then the brown lemur is just a whole different lemur. Yeah, well obviously they're yeah. peace and love. <laughs> Look at that armpit oh. scratch. How about their back armpit? <laughs> that brings to a funny topic. This is the same foot as a monkey, right? Yeah, so they are primates, they have opposable thumbs, they even have fingerprints like us. If they committed a crime, we could definitely hunt them down. Oh, we can. and they commit crimes all the time. Oh my goodness. They yes. steal They're fruit. in their little conspiracy. <laughs> and that's right, so when a group's running around, it's called a conspiracy, so literally they're committing crimes, so you gotta keep track of their finger, their fingerprints. <laughs> is it only this toe that's got one? No, this they thumb? all have it. They all have it. And this right here is called a poo. So a, a poo claw. That's how they keep themselves I don't, clean. Oh, that means they, ooh, that's a little bit too much information, right? I've just learned more and more every time I come, and uh, I guess it pays to hang around people with degrees. <laughs> okay, so this is the brown lemur, right? Yes, this is Momo. Basically bottle, bottle feeding, and this is the first little lemur I've ever actually bottle fed. I was at a place where a bunch of babies were born, even twins, it's kind of cool. They run oh around goodness. on the back of the mom. I'm playing to be mom right now. Yeah, so he's totally supportive of that. So she's, so Jamie says it's peace and love with them. So let's see. Uh, yeah. Oh, is it peace and love? Oh, look at her hang on to me. And how often do you have to feed it that much? So he gets fed currently at 10 weeks. He gets four large feedings. So that for him is. See, peace and love. You like mama more? Huh? Yeah, baby. Ah, somebody <laughs> likes me. Oh, he is Whoa. taking it down. Going that, to that's, that's number three. He's turning into a big boy. <laughs> Going back to mama. Oh, Going back to mama. Yeah. 
No. He's like, nah. No. Pizza love thing ain't gonna work with you. You're ugly. I think it's your beard. <laughs> oh, you're good. Is it my beard? Huh? Oh, you're supposed to like my beard. Living the dream at San Antonio Aquarium.